All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Sorry for the delay. Uh, if you guys follow me on social media, you'll know that I always pretty much take the whole entire month of July off, but my wife and I finally, after getting married last November, had our honeymoon uh, a couple weeks ago, went down to Cancun, had an absolute blast. And while I was in Cancun, I was having my brand new Lund 2023-1875 Pro-V rigged, dropped off the Crestliner uh, before I went down to Cancun for them to swap over all my graphs and everything. So you guys will have probably seen that in the last video in my entire walkthrough. Hopefully you guys saw that first. I'm not sure how I'm gonna release these videos, but uh, today is Wednesday the 19th of July, uh, have just kind of a one-off evening guide trip. Uh, time check now is just after four o'clock. I've got a quick evening trip yet this evening. Um, there is literally not a soul on the lake. So I thought while I had some extra time to get out in the boat, um, we would do a, another snap jigging video. I actually came out last night just to kind of test a couple different things out. I've got a few minor issues that I'm trying to work through in this new boat, but came out and had an absolute blast. Snap jigging up, rip jigging up, some walleyes, nothing super huge, but had them almost on every cast. So we've got almost the same kind of north northeast wind which in the summer can be kind of weird but those fish were super fired up so i'm hoping to be able to replicate that this evening get a quick video and then pick up my clients here at six o'clock so just to kind of recap uh from the last video that you guys probably saw this is going to be the program right here so we've got the old standby the Rapala jigging wrap on the uh, Fox River. This is actually the 7-1 medium. I wanted to do a different rod video on snap jigging, just to kind of show you guys if you're weird about rod lengths or whatever. I like the six, or I'm sorry, I like the 7-1 medium fast for snap jigging as well, but in that last walleye video that you guys saw, before I started taking time off was with the 6, 610 medium extra fast, which again, super money rod, but uh, that one is at the bottom of the box. And this is the one I was using last night. So Fox River 71 medium FRX series. We've got a 2000 size PC fun captain reel. I don't even know if they actually make this one anymore, but uh, definitely a favorite of mine, but 10 pound braid to a 12 pound leader. Uh, do not have a crankbait snap on this one, probably because I'm lazy, but always recommend a crankbait snap on that. But this is a custom painted, well, it's, I can't really say it's custom painted. This one Rappel actually makes right now, but it's one of their special colors. But that was what was killing them last night. So we've got brand new microphones for the GoPro system. So I hope that everything is working as it should. We've got some wind tonight. So I hope these microphones kind of eliminate a lot of that wind noise, but it's all new to me. I'm gonna have my very first clients in this brand new boat super excited and of course it's freaking drizzling on us because i just waxed the boat and the truck this afternoon so why wouldn't it right so we're gonna get some cameras re-rigged and get things situated here and uh, just start throwing at these fish we are working offshore structure just like i pretty much always do in the summertime just like you guys saw in that last video so nothing really has changed since then except we are in a different locale as you can probably tell this time so we'll get this camera situation figured out and start throwing it hopefully some fish we've got live scope down i'll show you what it looks like let's get after them all right so we are up in the front of the boat here. I'm actually gonna be fishing off the back side of the boat just based on the wind direction here, but pretty much have live scope straight back behind the boat. You guys can see buttery sea light mount on the track system on my Pro-V here, super, super nice. So we've got that pointing all the way backwards and you guys can see we've got fish up on the hump here. They're kind of onesie twosie little fish there, which leads me to believe they're probably walleyes. That's probably a big bunch of white bass right there because I caught a bunch of those last night, but that's kind of the program. So like I said, I mean, it just helps so much that when you set up on a spot to just cast with the wind back behind the boat, that way you've got a tight line on everything. So that's kind of the program that we're gonna be running tonight. Cause like I said, that was pretty much the program that I was running last night as well. So I'll just get a good cast out there with the old jig wrap. Might have to reposition ourselves just a little bit. I feel like the camera's too far over to this side, but we're gonna be fishing a little bit more off that side. But if you guys have not seen my last snap jigging video from, I don't know, probably three weeks ago now, right before I started taking time off, I will link that video because that's probably one of the best, if not the best, 
uh, jig and wrap video that I have done, not just for the content, but for also catching a big one. So, but we're just making a long cast out there to the spot. Oop, that was a fish right there. Making a long cast up on the hump, letting it get down to bottom and just giving sharp, quick pops all the way back to the boat. So, like I said, I just pretty much pulled up to the spot here and there was another bite right there. White bass will always just kiss it on the fall. Walleyes will 90% of the time, especially this time of year, trap that bait down to bottom. But when you feel those slack line ticks, especially high up in your stroke, those are probably whites or sheephead. I channel my inner Aaron Mick up in Ocano. Oh yeah, there's a school up there. Lots of whites. So I don't know, we'll just keep fan casting around. But like I said, we may have to reposition just a skosh. That's program. I'm not gonna talk too much about the technique in this video considering the last video, that's what that was all about. So if, like I said, if you guys have not seen that video, go watch it. Link is in the description. Smash, smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. There we go. Oh my goodness. And those, the, <laughs> that is one thing about, well, these particular two uh, big high spot slash humps that we're gonna fish is that there are also a ton of white bass around. Definitely a couple of three, four, five sheephead. There we go. But I'm gonna say this is probably one of our little white bass. Or a wiper. Did catch a couple of micro wipers last night. That or he's just hooked funny. I don't know, yep. That is a micro hybrid striped bass. Good to see. That's probably a one to two year old fish. I would guess. That's all right, the last video was all about the walleyes. This one will throw some multi-species in. These little hybrids, they freak me out so bad, especially when there's a jig and wrap in their face. But yeah, that's a little uh, wiper right there. Jig and wrap just fell right out. But yeah, if you're not careful with these little guys, uh, their gill, their gill plates will absolutely destroy you. So be careful. Thanks, buddy. All right. Was that first cast? I think that was first cast. Maybe that was second cast. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, well, of course, that one wiper that I caught, look, he has brought all of his buddies with him. Oh my goodness. That is a absolute crap ton of fish right there. I wonder, oh, I can see them on live scope. They're right there. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have got to see this on live scope. Look at that. They're all just right there. There's so many of them. Oh, that was a fish right there. I've still got my bait down right there for some odd reason, but yeah. They're around, but those are not walleye. So I'm literally just running into fish. We're just gonna we're gonna stick to the uh, stick to the program, trying to catch the ones that are on the bottom, not those little suspended striped guys. All right, I lied. We gotta get we gotta get repositioned. I don't like it. It's just not setting up quite like it was last night. Yeah, you know, the humps. Humps way over yonder. This away. There's our fish or a brush pile. I don't even know. I see what we were doing wrong. I just get a little excited. You know what? I just get a little excited. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Samsonite. I was way off. All right. Feeling better about the position based on how we were set up last night. We had a little bit more of an easterly wind last night. I should have saved the stupid spot lock in my remote. Am I even on the right hump? I'm not even on the right hump. 
We're not even fishing remotely the same hump that I was last night. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I mean, there's still fish here. A lot of those suspended striped ones. And that is the one thing about this particular hump that I started off fishing last night. I was just catching whites, which I'm getting bit by currently. And then I moved up to the next hump. I can see them all following my lure. And there they are. Weird. But anyway, I was trying to say, oh, it's our friend. I didn't expect you. <laughs> I was watching the whole school on live scope. Oh, dude, on the new aqua traction. Come on, bro. We've already went through this like six times last night. I just got it clean. I was trying to say that on this particular hump, that's a little guy, all we were catching were white bass and a couple sheep. But I was surprised by that little tiny walleye. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of fish up there. But that, I mean, again, like right now on these particular spots, all the striped fish are all suspended. And the ones that we want are sitting on the bottom, either right up on top of the spot or right off the edge. And I'm casting right up to it. But I was watching a whole school of fish following my bait because I had gotten bit by one of those fish or two. And then the next fish to take it was a walleye. Oh, that was a fish. So I was just about to move us up to that next hump maybe we'll make a few more casts i don't know we'll see all right last cast on this hump and we're going we're going up to the next one where hopefully more walleyes live and less undesirables oh man there's still a lot of fish up on this next hump here it's so hard to tell if that's a brush pile or just a pile of fish i don't know if we're gonna find out, it's gonna be with a jigger up, right? Pretty much right on top of it here, almost. That's a tree. Not a lot of fish on it though. Looks good, but like I've been saying, I'm trying to get set up on it just like I was last night because that's what's comfortable. Over to the left, a little bit deeper, straight back behind the boat. I'll we'll be casting right into it here. All right. All of a sudden our wind just died too. That sucks. Well, whatever wind we had, last night we had big wind and they were bitey, but we're still fishing pretty much yesterday's wind and there's still fish here, so now it's up to them. But that's the beauty of the jig wrap is just getting fish that are on the spot that may not otherwise be in the mood to feed to just react to our bait. So let's see what happens here. There we go. That was a weird bite. I think I felt him maybe a little bit too late and that he's hooked funny. It's definitely not a walleye. It's definitely a some sort of striped fish in the back or something. Yeah, he's doing too many wow, 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 wow. Right in the side. Another little hybrid right in the side. That's just gonna happen, you know it? With a bait like this and how funky they are, we're not even gonna show them off. Quick shake, back to it. They just swipe at it so fast, those hybrids are so oddly aggressive at any point in time that they will just swipe and swipe and swipe and you may end up just getting them in the side sometimes when you're late like me. Oh, there's a fish. That one feels more like the desired species and if it is, it's a nice one. Maybe. Now it's starting to drizzle again. I don't know, it's going too far sideways. Nope, it's a striped guy. 
that's kind of the difference. Usually when it's a walleye, they'll come straight back at you. But if it's something with stripes, that's a nice white bass. Nice whitey, Mr. Bluefin guy. When they start going in circles or running sideways, then you know it is not the target species. But like I said before, today is kind of more of a whatever bends the, oh my God, dude, that guy, oh, so much diarrhea. I'm not going to show them to you. I already have so much diarrhea to clean up here. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, that's bad. Oh my God, it smells awful. There we go. That one has got to be a walleye. Has to be. Yeah, I think it is. For sure. Not big. But like I said, I don't know, I probably caught 12 or 13 last night, and I think maybe three of them would have kept. But like I said, this time of year, we're just in the mode of whatever bends the rod. Oh, yeah, that's him. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, no, no. Let me show you to the folks. Don't poop. Don't poop. See, just a little guy, but we're doing it. So hopefully you can just keep going back to back. I've got, I don't know, about an hour and 20 minutes before I got to pick my clients up. So I think we can catch a couple more. There we go. Glad I got that one because I missed him maybe two or three times. I think we got the walleye cast dialed in because, oh yeah, it's another giant. Oh man, actually that is one thing I forgot today. I forgot my net because clearly I need it. Actually, in hindsight, did forget my net on a guide trip and I should probably call my wife. Tell her to bring the net to the boat ramp. There is another one. See, this is just like it was last night. Like once I got the spot dialed in, which Thankfully, it didn't take too long. Just like last night, it was every single cast. And even tonight without the wind, but one thing to remember, if you fish one day and there's big wind and you fish the next day and there's no wind, fish yesterday's wind. Big tip guy. Big tip guy, oh, Aaron Mick, it will be so jacked. You know we couldn't fish offshore structure in the summertime with jig and wraps without finding a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Kansas redfish, AKA a drum. There it is. Who is it this time? Who is it this time? We'll never know. We'll never know who it is in the summertime. I would prefer if it had teeth, which it does, dude. I'm on the Danky program, but you know what? We're in the new freaking Lund. Second time I've ever fished out of it. And I don't care how big they are, we're catching walleyes. Like I said, hey, should have seen me last night. Just like the classic crappy guide saying, should have been here yesterday or should have been here last week. I don't say that but really they were bigger last night. Fish on. Again, I got another chance. Feels weird. Who is going to grace us with their presence? Well, nobody, nobody is going to grace us with their presence. Didn't feel small. Hmm. If you were a walleye, I'd be so 
excited because I've caught nothing but sheephead. Oh my god, and it actually is a walleye. Wow. Hmm. But you never got to see him. There we go. Redemption walleye. Come on. I want to show one to you before I got to go pick my clients up and also meet my wife at the boat landing because dipshit forgot his net. Yep. God, that looks like the exact same one that I just lost. Gonna have to be the last one before I get to go pick up clients and grab my net. I don't know what this is, but it's probably not in the mouth. Oh God, that's actually the biggest walleye of the day and it's in the bottom of his chin. This is a really bad time to not have the net. This would happen. Okay, I will sacrifice the aqua traction for that guy because, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what a better way to end the video on a perfect, I don't know, it's probably almost 19 and a half, 20. I'm gonna say probably more like 20. Should we put him on the aqua traction? Let's do that. Just for fun, he is just a hair shy of 20 inches there, 19 and three quarters. So this video was mostly just made for, to show you guys that I'm still alive. Uh, if you follow me on social media, you will have seen, I do take all of July off. Danny and I had our honeymoon and I'm just gearing up here probably in the next like nine to 10 days to get back into Guiding my books are jam-packed, absolutely full, maybe four openings between now and mid-December. So things are gonna get crazy, but wanted to get out in the new Lund and uh, catch some walleyes and everything as you guys have seen. So we're gonna get this girl back here. Bye-bye. You're lucky today that I gotta work and I'm not gonna eat you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Much more content to come from this new Lund here. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. In the meantime, I have to go pick up my clients, grab my net for my wife who's waiting patiently at the boat ramp. I will see you guys on the next video.